Librarian of Congress, Dr. Carla Hayden became the first woman and first African American to lead the National Library in 2016, following President Obama's nomination and the United States Senate's confirmation. In redefining and modernizing the mission of the Library of Congress, Dr. Hayden has prioritized making its exceptional collections of America's national treasures more publicly accessible. In 2016, she was named to Fortune Magazine's list of the world's 50 greatest leaders. A year later, she was named a Time Magazine first honoree as part of a multimedia project on trailblazing women. Before becoming Librarian of Congress, Dr. Hayden served as CEO of the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore from 1993 to 2016. As CEO of the historic 22 branch Enoch Pratt system, Dr. Hayden increased the number of public computers, expanded broadband service, and the ebook collection, and incorporated a new robotics lab for youth in the central library renovation plans. She made history in 1995 as the first African American to win Library Journal's Librarian of the Year Award, recognizing her outreach services at the Pratt Library. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, President Yam, members of the Board of Trustees, the faculty and the staff. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this historic commencement ceremony. It's an honor to be with all of you today. But family and friends, this is your day too. To the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, the sisters, the brothers, the children, the sib, everybody that got the graduates here, thank you for all of your support and the love you provided. You deserve a hand, please. This is your day too. And graduates, it is an honor to be with you as you celebrate your achievements. This is truly your day and what a beautiful day it is. And it's a privilege to be here to congratulate you and cheer you on as you embrace another chapter in your life's journey. And what a journey it's been. Hats off to you for the hard work and the perseverance that brought you here in triumph today. And I bet that on your first day in your program, it might have been hard to imagine that this day would ever come. And the events of the last few months might have made it even harder to imagine as the world swirled during an exceptional time. You know that you were part of a nationwide, even global, class of graduates who spent their academic careers amid a lifetime set of historic events. A series of events that made history, events that we all live together, and as a librarian, I guarantee that these events will be written about for years to come. Yet, you made it. And you are now part of a long line of Notre Dame graduates who persevered and made a mark in this world. And that list includes Frances Benjamin Johnston, the first female photojournalist in the United States whose archive is preserved at the Library of Congress. And just as an aside, her mother worked for the Baltimore Sun. In her over seven decade career that began in the 1890s, she photographed US presidents, Supreme Court justices, and famous people of the day like Mark Twain and Booker T. Washington. And finally, she worked with staff members at that Library of Congress where I'm now to preserve her life's work. And her archive is now one of the most notable collections in the world's largest library. So fast forward to today, another historic time period that's being recorded right as we gather today. And graduates, you have probably spent the past few months on a roller coaster. And your last year was probably full of twists and turns. 
and uncertainty even around this very ceremony. Now, we know it's widely acknowledged that the pandemic accelerated plans for a digital future, but it's one that you are uniquely ready for and can now help shape. The phase COVID as a catalyst has had resonance on campuses and institutions, governments, businesses, and it is and it was a catalyst for thinking about the nature of work and education, but also what is important in life and how can we help everyone move into this digital future with equity and dignity. And it's been a test for all of us, but graduates, it made you stronger and opened your eyes to opportunities and even some surprise possibilities. As you embark on your life after graduation, and there is life after graduation, I do have to tell you that despite the fatigue and the hard work and the reality of your journey to get here today, some of your worst days may still be ahead but you've already persevered and proven you can face challenges with determination and grit. You now know that change can come fast and that what you know now is most likely not what you might need to know in the future, but you've learned many things. And the most important thing is you've learned how to think. And today just signifies another step in a journey of discovery and the most important and lasting skills you've gained are how to learn and persevere. And in Notre Dame, you were students with a mission. You had definite goals and objectives with recognition from the school and the professors about those missions, and everything in your programs was tailored to advance you in achieving your goals. You'll need to continue learning and investing in yourself so you can find meaning and purpose in a rapidly changing round. And look around, there's still many opportunities out there for you, many that you can create. This challenging time has opened minds and hearts to the possibility of creating a world where everyone is valued and contribute if given an opportunity. So, this, you have demonstrated your ability to do just that. You made it to this point through a time that people will study for decades to come. So, as you close this chapter in your own history, there is still more to be written in your book of life. Even though you might have a plan for the future for your professional careers, just know and remember that there will be unseen twists and turns. Standing here, I have to share that I am a living example of unforeseen twists because I call myself an accidental librarian. Because out of college, I didn't know what I was going to do, but my dear mother said you should seek employment, <laughs> as you figured out. Well, I was given an opportunity to apply for a job at the Chicago Public Library. And that's where, in a storefront in the south side of Chicago, I saw a library school student named Judy Zucker sitting on the floor doing story time with a group of autistic children. And that's where I found my path. And today, I'm honored to lead the largest library in the world. After graduating with a degree that provided me with a passport to explore options and opportunities. So think of your degree as a passport to opportunity. It's your ticket to ride and it allow you to go wherever you want to go. And the fact that you brought yourself to this juncture at this ceremony says that you want a place at the table. And you can decide what table and what place you want. And you and your family, and I can't emphasize that enough, you and your family and friends have invested in your future. And I can assure you that the time and the treasure and the sweat to get here will be paid back tenfold. And while you are advancing, reach back and around to help others in your family, your community, and society. And remember when those times that are hard come in the future, 
Remember today's feelings of optimism and promise, because today you're not only being presented with a degree, you're being presented to the world, a world that needs you. You're graduating in what has been called one of the most significant inflection points in history. And then, even though you may have missed out on some things, you've been part of something truly historic, a collective shared experience that will be something that you'll look back on throughout your life. So now, graduates, you're ready to make your own history with even more self-determination and faith in your own abilities. Remember, this is your time and this is your history to be made. Now, part of your history of course, took shape at Notre Dame. So always remember the values this institution has instilled in you. And these values should help fuel your motivation and provide inspiration in the future. So I urge you to celebrate today and continue to take time with the people who are with you and remember those who are not. Take time for yourself your family, your circle of friends, your support group, because this will make your journey even more memorable, because these are the people who made it possible for you to imagine a better future. I stand with you today, celebrating the legacy of an institution that has embodied empowering both women and men. And I'll send you off with best wishes from a quote from a suffragette Susan B. Anthony, the older I get, the great power I seem to have to help the world. I am like a snowball. The further I am rolled, the more I gain. So you be that snowball. Seize life and use your power. Congratulations, class of 2024. The world is waiting for you. Good luck and Godspeed.